Thought I'd do a video update about Crime Lord, haven't done one for a while. Anybody that's new to Crime Lord, it's a seven part crime series that I made over the last few years about crime writing criminal. It was made over about three years, doing an episode at a time. And then earlier this year, I finished it. I finished the whole seven episodes and they went on to Amazon Prime in the UK and the US and on Vimeo On Demand. I haven't really updated uh, much about it really because I didn't have any other news about it, I didn't have any other plans for it really. Because when I first made it, I made it as a sort of like just to practice, just to learn, as I keep saying, to learn to be a filmmaker, learn to be an actor, get out there and do something. And if you go for bigger budgets as well, then people won't know what you've been doing. You know, so well, I've been doing this. It's a little no budget thing, but I've been doing this. So that's the reason I do this sort of work. So I had the plan that, you know, can I done season one? Should I take it another season, whatever? But, you know, I've got that side there. That it, it, it was mainly, you know, my own money that went into it. So it pretty much drained me over the years and over the months, especially last year. So there's no way that I could take it to uh, season two with more money. You know, it's, that's, I, I took it to that level as something to present, you know, and it's still no budget, you know, even when you um, put money into it, it's still, you know, it's, it's, it's not a series like you get Netflix or Amazon. You can't compete with these series. You know, when it went on Amazon Prime, we're so used to when we watch Netflix or Amazon, whatever, we're seeing these big, massive series, and there's so many of them, you know, where it's Orange is the New Black, House of Cards, Breaking Bad, whatever. And these are massive serials with names in them and massive budgets. And here's my little no budget series. It's just in a different box. I think we get sometimes today, um, because we can get these big platforms, it doesn't, we're not on the same level playing field at all, you know. And there's a side of me that, that actually, when you're making things at this level and you're making things very no budget and kind of gritty and rough and imperfections and all the flaws and sometimes it sounds good, sometimes it sounds bad, etc. Um, I'm kind of fine with that at this level because a lot of the times I'm making these things just to learn how I can, how much I can push the boundaries on no budgets. And these things are like little things that, you know, just to make, you know, because behind the scenes, which I never talk about because I'm not one of these people that talk about things, oh, big news coming about my big film, you know, until I've actually got a fucking deal on something because I do have scripts that I work away at over the years, um, put a lot of time into them, send them away to producers, try to attach names, um, try to get proper, you know, bigger budgets. And if they come off one day, if they don't, if they do, then that's great. Then that takes me another level, the work that I can really do. But I think it's important to make stuff as well because um, I've learned so much, you know. You know, again, if you go to money people, they ask what you've been doing, whether you've been shooting something on a phone, whatever that impresses them. You know, if you say you've just been looking for money, that does not impress fucking anybody, you know. So Crime Lord was made just to get stuff made, but when it's on a bigger platform, you know, over the last uh, few weeks, I've thought, it's not in the same spirit of how I made it. I like the fact that if somebody discovers something on YouTube or on Instagram TV or on Facebook or on some fucking other platform, you know, and it's, it's the, the, the series is small and, and gritty and DIY-like. Um, and DIY is not a bad word because YouTubers can dominate with their own channels and DIY videos, you know, so that's not a bad word. There's people with bigger audiences and mainstream movies on DIY. But I think the synergy we making something and having that DIY distribution approach is attractive. You know, because when I got it on the Amazon, oh, it's on Amazon, great, people can run the world can see it on their TVs and it's all, it's, it makes it as if it's bigger than it is and it isn't, you know. Um, and I, I'm happy for it to be there as long as it's there, then that's great as well. But over the last few weeks, I thought, you're making content, it takes a lot of time to make. This world is about getting your work out there and getting more content out there and getting more eyeballs to you and your work and potential funders and potential. So if something's locked away as well and it's not in the same spirit as what the DIY spirit that you made it, the platforms are not in the same DIY spirit the way you made it, you know. So I came to the conclusion that, you know, if I want to get it out there, you know, chop it up and get it onto Facebook, get it onto Instagram TV, because you can put 10 minute videos there, get it onto Twitter, get it onto fucking YouTube, get it onto Vimeo, get, get it on everywhere free, get it out there, you know, because you don't make money in these things, you know, you don't, I don't make them to make money, you make them to get other work and get yourself out there. Um, and I like the idea that if somebody discovers it on Instagram TV or YouTube or Facebook, You've not get, they've not get, there's zero expectations because they're discovering it there, they're not paying for it. So it's not like, oh, I've just paid for this Scottish series and I thought it was the next fucking Breaking Bad. <laughs> well, did you not watch any trailers? You know, it's not the next Breaking Bad. It's like, but if you discover it on a phone or, in, you know, on YouTube, whatever, you don't have those expectations. 
then you're coming from a point, well, it's free, what the fuck do you expect? It's a little DIY series. I like that feeling and that sort of way that it should be distributed. And look, if people discover it on Instagram, YouTube, whatever, and then they discover a link, they can watch it on Amazon as well, you know. So they maybe watch it there and then want to watch it on the television, but they're already invested in the fact that it's came for a DIY approach. So it's not the flick the channels on Netflix, uh, Amazon, and they've been watching a big series and then they're watching this little no budget thing. So I kind of want to get it in other platforms for that reason. You know, it can be discovered elsewhere and it is what it is. I feel that the spirit of something is made in DIY spirit, so the platforms that it's distributed on should be in the same sort of spirit. Unless I'm getting my 40 million, you know, uh, big series, you know, for another script one day, then they've got to be on Netflix, they've got to be on Amazon with a shadow of a doubt. You're not gonna chop them up and throw them fucking online, you know. So that's my plans to with Crime Lord. I had no real other plans with it. It was like, I, I took it as far as I, I, I could, even though the story, it's only scratched the surface. It's a much bigger, bigger, bigger story. You know, it's about crime rate and criminal, but they, they get into the media business, they get into the movie business, they get into all sorts of businesses and become billionaires. And, you know, and eventually, don't want really to get the whole story away, but it may never be made. Nobody will ever see this fucking video. Maybe five people will probably see this video, but the character eventually turns into a kind of British version of Donald Trump, you know, um, over the years of it came to series seven. That's the whole point here. It's a whole journey to build bigger, you know. You know, people ask me if there'll be a season two. There'll be a season two if people want it, if there's a demand for it. So the more eyeballs that I can get out there and the season two, because I always say is I'll not make a season two unless I can get tons of money for it. You'll not get tons of money for this because it's came from a point of nothing, you know. But if I get it in that DIY approach out there and rough and people watching their phones and stuff and they buy into the DIY approach and I get more people, you know, following the Facebook, following Instagram, following, then if there's enough people, then it could possibly go to a season two and I've got the book going out there as well. Um, and that way it can be fun, you know. Anyway, I just wanted to do that video because there's still quite a lot of people on the Facebook page and some people have been sending messages about it, interested in it, and, and, it's, and I really appreciate it. There's a lot of people that, you know, like it. It is what it is and they know what it is. I like when people watch something and they know it was made um, for what it is, you know, because it's it's about 95, it's about 5% of the vision that I wanted with something. But I think it's important to do things, just to fucking do them, you know, rather than talking about waiting for your big 100 million one day. Um, filmmakers go out and make fucking stuff, you know, um, and that's really important. Anyway, don't want to waffle. Thanks very much for watching the video. I will update about it and I'm going to chop, uh, chop it up and release it over the next few days and couple of weeks. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.